Thank you, Riv, and great cast on the day. We're going to get a word with Queer Love in just a minute, but first we have a lot to discuss with that 3-0 victory. And, and we said it earlier, I'm not sure we can call it clean, but we can call it decisive, 3-0 EDG rolling into the finals with a lot of momentum here now. Yeah, they certainly do, and they got better every single day. We said day one, they looked very sloppy coming in. Pick Ban, it was going to be an issue, but day two, they really picked it up. Now in this semifinal, they were absolutely dominant, very decisive in their play, and I think this is a team that they're just picking up momentum to get even better into the final. We thought they only had a kind of a dirty style of winning these games out, and I personally thought that this last game is how the first game should have gone. And perhaps that maybe EDG didn't have it in them to, to really buckle down and do it. But, oh boy, the day surprise. They just completely wiped AHQ in that final one. Yeah, what EDG showed me today is that every one of their lanes can get ahead. And then as soon as they get an advantage in one of their lanes, they just search around for it. As soon as one person gets an advantage, they make them leave lane, and then they spill over somewhere else. Coral, after he got an advantage, he's like, I'm no longer top lane. I'm camping bottom. I'm TPing bottom. I'm going wherever I can. And they did that throughout this series. So that's something that SKT, moved, looking forward, they struggled with that against Fnatic today, when it was like Huni can carry, Febivin can carry, and sometimes still back in Yellowstar. So that's going to be very interesting tomorrow to see how SKT deals with this. All right, we've got our interview ready, so we're going to come back to this in just a minute. But right now, Shox is standing by with EDG's victorious jungler. Thank you very much, Dash. I'm joined here by Clear Love after EDG locked in their spot in the finals tomorrow versus SKT. And what a performance it was. Congratulations. Well, the first game seemed like it was the hardest for you guys to kind of find out and adapt. Uh, how do you reflect on your performance in the rest of the series? Uh, 因为第一场是我们从下午就来了然后休息了很久第一场有点不在状态吧放了很多平常不该有的失误所以说第一场显得很艰难然后给 uh, so, because we came in the afternoon, we didn't have enough time to adjust, so we were still trying to get into our rhythm. So first game, we had a little bit of difficulty, um, but after that we were able to uh, get into our rhythm and clean it up. Yeah, absolutely clean up. Dominating performance in the other two games. That means you're in the finals versus SKT. They needed five games to make it to the finals, and Faker was up here and said that he was quite confident that they could take it. How do you think that matchup's going to go? Uh, 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 I also have a lot of confidence that we can win. Um, I think uh, Faker um, against Palm, Palm will win, and EDG against SKT, EDG will win. All right, well, you mentioned Faker versus Pawn. Another interesting there is Bengi versus Clearlove. Bengi single-handedly had a huge performance in the last game of SKT versus Fnatic. How do you reflect on his performance and on you guys playing versus each other tomorrow? Uh, uh, Benji的话，他的嗯，就英雄池，我觉得有点少吧。然后他打什么英雄都很像，就是如果他玩鲁鲁，他就更倾向于控buff、控龙这些，做的都很好。雷克赛的话，就更倾向于干克这些。然后我觉得明天我跟Benji的对决,我能赢他。So uh, Bengi, I think he has a very limited champion pool, um, but of the champions that he does play, he performs very well on them. For example, with Nunu, he has stellar buff control, and when he plays Rek'Sai, he has stellar ganks. Uh, I think tomorrow when I play against Bengi, I will show that I'm better than him. All right, there we go. Thank you very much. Congratulations on a great tournament so far. We'll see them in the finals tomorrow. And for now, back over to you, Dash. Thank you, Shox. Right off the tail end of that, Sheepy, I'm coming to you with that jungle matchup tomorrow. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I like his confidence, and I think he hit the major points there that Bengi has this limited champion pool, which he plays actually pretty well, the Rek'Sai and the Nunu. Never seen such a disgusting Nunu before. I hope that actually EDG realizes this as a team, that this is a weak spot they can hit, because I think that Kilov showed that he is a jungler that is really aggressive, and if you don't shut him down or don't match the pressure, He's gonna 
be a pain in mm -hmm. the butt. You know who else has a really good Nunu? <laughs> Clearlove has a really good Nunu. Just saying, their Nunu Jinx combo, pretty devastating. All right, but I do want to go back to this idea of the EDG threats because I do think that that could be a pretty large deciding factor tomorrow when we look at Koro in the top lane coming up big on Hecker and Morelli. You look at Pawn stepping up with that Cassidy, and you look at Deft just applying pressure straight up the, uh, across all three games here. Yeah, that's something that SKT failed to keep up with with the Fnatic today and showed a really bad showing. And Clear Love, that's the thing, is Bengi, you know, he can be like, all right, let's go. I can really go middle. I can really go bottom. Clear Love can go to any damn lane and even get kills for himself and then start carrying the game from there. So I feel like EDG have more options when the game just is on the jungler's shoulders. So that's going to be a big thing, is Bengi keeping track of Clear Love. And I think Bengi, if he get, does get the Nunu, I think it's going to be a great pick for them, because if he keeps Clear Love down, he stops the early pressure. And I'm personally looking forward to the bot lane battle of the Giants, Deft against Bang. I'm just so hyped for this one, because both of those Callistas, I hope this, either way, both get Callista, or one of them goes Callista and just shows how strong he is. And... I think that either way, bot lane it will be decided or top lane it will be decided. I'm actually really excited about bot lane for a different reason. I think Mako is like the unsung hero of this team and he got Thresh so many times and I do not know how his Thresh is so good. So I actually think that him versus Bang is going to be a tough matchup for Bang. Well, the unsung hero of EDG maybe, but there was one player that pulled away from the pack in that series and that man was Koro. He played incredibly well the entire set and his Aurelia performance in game three was instrumental in locking up EDG's place in the finals. Not too shabby for the birthday boy, I'd say. Ooh. Oh, I think he played a really needy really there and went for the kills. And actually, I think that fits kind of EDG style. And yeah, I'd like to see him more on those kill aggressive top laners. And he plays it all the t time against Nar. So now you really have to question the Nar pickup because it's so strong. I like how he's not somebody that needs clear lift to help him snowball. He can find these opportunities by himself, whether it's TPing on a three man gank bottom lane instead of a four man, or just getting a 1v1 advantage in the lane. So Marin really struggled with that earlier today. So I think that if SKT brings the game that they brought today versus what EDG did today, it's not going to be very close. Yep. Powerful top laners that open up the map and use TP to their advantage seem to be a weak spot for SKT. That's going to be a thing. And we saw those 1v5 Hecarim, <laughs> Hecarim <laughs> fights too, which were extraordinarily impressive. Now we know who will face off in the finals tomorrow, so let's pull up the bracket to see how it's filled out. SKT were taken to five games by Fnatic, but managed to pull out the win to lock in their finals berth. They will take on Edward Gaming, who swept through their semifinal series against AHQ Esports Club. So gentlemen, again, we looked at tomorrow's matchup specifically. How do we see that playing out? I think this is absolutely huge. I think that it will be actually closer than people think. I think SKT play extremely well against the likes of EDG. I think it's going to be a very long series. I agree. I think it's going to be a very close match. I don't think it's going to shake off uh, SKT, what they did today. They recognized what went wrong, and they adapted very quickly in the fifth game. I thought that wasn't going to happen, but they proved me wrong, and I think they're going to prove me wrong again tomorrow versus EDG. And I think withering through the storm, both teams that we expected in the end are in the finals, and I think... This is the matchup that I look forward the most. It's this kind of aggressive chaos TP tower dive style from EDG with this, the control style from uh, SKT. And I really look out who is coming out ahead. Yeah, jungle pool is the thing in question here. What's Bengi got besides those two champions? Because we saw from Clear Love today, he could whip out a Nautilus on the spot. So. <laughs> well, sure to be an extraordinary series tomorrow, but before tomorrow's finals, the day will kick off with a battle for the ages. A motley crew of casters will square off against a lineup of pros in an exhibition match that you won't want to miss. Playing for the casters, it will be Messiah and Xiao, Wei, uh, and Xiao Xiao from the LPL, our very own Freak and Kobe, and the LCK's Cloud Templar. Making up the pro team is Besiktas's uh, Thaldren and Energy, Fanatics, Fabivin, and Huni, and rounding out the lineup is TSM's Wild Turtle. We will be bringing you every minute of the action from the campus of Florida State University starting tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 11 p.m. Central European Summertime. That does it for us here today. So now for myself, the casters, and the entire live broadcast crew, thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Korea versus Europe. Fnatic needing to improve upon their performance from yesterday. Lauren trying to shred them down. Raylovers in retreat. Hooney's low. That's a knock-up on Fake and Yellowstar knocks him into the waiting hands of Featherbin. Hooney's now going to be the next victim. But that's Bob Ray play. Kills a man that's dodged.
Everton at all. Wolf is down. SK Telecom will knock the first nail into Fnatic's coffin. That's a shutdown from Beg. SKT with a great start to the fight. Double kill for Beg is petrifying gaze. Does nothing. And Faker 525 takes the series 2 1. Nice. 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 We got it. Nice. Nice. We finish. We finish. We finish. Or Fnatic! Faker explodes the pass backwards. Petrifying gaze down. Double kill for Bang. Triple kill for Bang. Quadra kill for Bang. SK Telecom T1 will move on to the MSI finals. Ziv is on adapt and he's not going to be able to do much when he throws Mako to Westor. That can finalize him. They both go down and the onslaught of shadows come through. Oh. HP. Nobody can really keep fighting for it, but they're trying to push everybody, so Baron is attacking them. EDG take game two. Getting thrown back into the wall. He does get assistance from Clearlove. Oh! Oh, is coming from the side, though. He flashed.